Good to go. No. Okay. Um, my name is Xavier Lamar, also known as Pericles. Um, I'm a model and I'm a photographer. I'm just a creative all around, honestly, but mainly a photographer and videographer and model. Those are my niches. Honestly, I feel like it was a lot of influences. Um, I was in the military in 2021 and I got out and I felt like I didn't know myself. So I like took some time to try and get to know myself or like try and get to do things that I like to do. Like I never really did that for myself before. Um, and Christian, also known as c -Bams. Probably a lot of you guys know him. He's also a photographer, my best friend. Um, he influenced me a lot because I would go to a lot of shoots with him when he first started shooting. I just took my hand at it myself and bought a camera. Just did a three thousand dollar investment and shit like that, you know. So the advice I would give to someone who wants to go down this route of being a creative artist, I would say is. Believe in yourself or no one else will. Be consistent, have discipline, and work hard. Just like, if you really want it, just go after it. That's like my main thing I would say. Um, I think I stand out honestly is because I really take it it's extremely serious. Like I take the craft serious. It's not a game to me at all. Like, um, I was. I don't know, I spend a lot of time on it, like whether it be editing or learning new information, gaining more knowledge on how it can how it can get better, taking constructive criticism from people, um, stuff like that. Just always trying to improve myself day by day, like that's pretty much it. I would say. Long term goals, I definitely wanna be like an editorial photographer, like shoot for magazines, shoot for major brands. Um, stuff like that. It's my major goal that was him. Anything I want people to know? Watch out, I guess. That, that's the only thing I would say, really. It's just like I'm going to continue elevating because I'm not stopping. Um, any new work coming out? I always have new work coming out, honestly. I feel like everything is exciting. I mean, for myself, everything that I let out is exciting every time I release. So... Um, I don't have anything specific, but there's definitely always new work coming. And what was the, the end of that question? Um, and anything coming. Oh yeah, I mean, nothing in particular, but. Any way people can reach you. Oh, okay. my, my Instagram is pericles.raw. You can also follow my main page and it's my, it's, my photography page is linked in my main page. It's um, X-V-A-I-E-R underscore dot. Okay, this is the random off the wall question that that guy came up with. Uh, if Michelle Obama was found dead and the U.S. government was has pretty strong evidence that you did it, how would you defend yourself? I'm black. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't have any malice in my heart enough to just kill somebody. I don't know. For no reason, at least. Like, it'll be in the act of self-defense or something like that. Like, a, I don't know why I would want to kill Michelle Obama. Like, cause I put that in the I put that she put the school lunches. Like, that's the that's so only reason why. We went from eating Elio's to eating wheat, wheat cardboard pizza. That was, like, I guess that's the only way I would say. I don't know. Honestly, I would just like to, number one, thank you, my boy Polo, for always being consistent just as i would say like one of the most consistent people that i see in my realm of creatives and always putting all for others like that's love bro real life and also just all my other friends like shout out to joan shout out to tyler hatasi um 2.0 all my all my other creator friends is just going up honestly just can't wait for everybody to be on a level where we can just like go outside and Niggas know who we are. We're just enjoying ourselves and shit like that. Shit is can't wait for that time to come. Um, the last minute. All right, that's it, man. Thank you. Oh, you're appreciate very you, bro. Appreciate you, Gordon. Not for nothing.
from Detroit, but I cracked the boss off the sink. Fuck your bitch, if she wanna link. Run up in your crib, nigga, better hope you have brinks. Skating on your shit like a rolling ring. The electronic pieces of life, I think, now. They have difficulties with it, of course, because it's new to them, but... Primarily, I think it's because, like, I, I don't know, like... I think people, like, around our age, at least, I don't think we're really, like, um, create connections with, like, um, like, forms of art as, like, people used to do back then because I think we just, like, consume a lot, so we just yeah. don't get attached, so we just move on to the next thing. Yes. I think partially, like, not having anything tangible to hold on to, I think that plays a role. I think people are creating a lot fucking up in that aspect because everything is digital now, but, like, I'm pretty sure if you want somebody to just, like, create an imprint of somebody's mind about your work, you gotta have some type of tangible work. In my I was watching Joey Bass and he was talking about like, if the power goes out, like, you can't listen to my music. Like, right. Yeah, that's true. Like, you don't have my own. I'm gonna put a book on your bookshelf. So like, yeah. you walk in your crib, you see that book. You're like, oh, okay, I have this book. And maybe I can read it today. Maybe I don't even wanna read it ever again. You may not even think you're gonna read it or look at it again, but it's there forever. It's not like, Literally what you said, the power goes out, no Instagram. Mm -hmm. People can't see my work no more unless I send it to them or something. Like that.